Hello, this is Project Predator. For our final project, we created an autonomous drone with three modes, a manual control mode, an auto stabilization mode, and a GPS go-to autopilot mode. In the real world, manned aircraft are used for reconnaissance, search and rescue, and disaster relief situations, but can often be very difficult, resource intensive, and dangerous to operate. Our project provides a potential solution to these problems. For instance, in search and rescue applications, a fleet of these drones could be sent out to scan a wide area without requiring as many people to pilot aircraft. It can also be used for remote payload delivery, surveying and aerial photography, and wildfire air support, where it can be used to provide an eyes in the sky to provide vital information to ground teams down below. Some stuff. Okay, so here we have, we're showing off the stabilization of the plane. When we tip it, the ailerons uh, rotate back and forth. Get this out of here. Yeah. And then we tip it forward and back, the elevators also deflect. Now I'm going to text to these coordinates. These are the coordinates up on top of Table Mountain. Um, so I'm going to send the latitude in and longitude in and I'm going to switch it, recycle into red two and there, you go. there we go, now it's switched, it wants to go the other direction over there towards Table Mountain and now you can see it's pointing in that direction, it's leveled out cool, alright, now I'm going to send it uh, the coordinates uh, right over here and it's going to go over there and then we'll uh, we'll send it up in the air and test it out I'm going to send this I'm going to send this now it should want to go right over there. There you go, just adjust it. As you can see, yeah. it's got a slight adjustment in it. And... It might take a minute to adjust. Yep. There Give there it some go. time, and there we go. Perfect. It's received the message, and now it wants to go right over there. there so we can go. send that up in the air, um, and it should fly to those coordinates. Mode 1. Alright, All right, so it's on autopilot. Going into mode 2. And it should track to that location. Yeah, I'm not touching the controls. Aaron, if you want to show there that. There you go, yep. And it's circling right around, right over there. I'm out of pistol. I'm out of roll. Alright. Yeah, if you want to bring it down then, it's getting dark, I can't see it. Alright, really. back on one. It is flying by itself. Nice. I'm not touching the controls. And then two. Alright, we are on two. We're on it's two. It's kind of okay. weird. Uh, one. We're not having as bad of a receiver issues this time though. That's good, I think you fixed it. Alright, zero. Turn two one more time. Two. It's flying somewhere. Alright, <laughs> one. Uh, yeah, that's one. So, um, we have coordinates already locked into this thing. It should fly right over to that corner um, of the IM field once we set it on its uh, go to mode 2 setting. Um, yeah, first we're just going to get it up on manual control though. Okay, that's mode one. So it's stabilizing, I'm not touching the controls. Mode two. Alright, that's mode two, it's flying itself. I'm not touching it. There you go, remotes and not being touched at all. It's going to this corner right over here. Oh yeah, look at it. It's nice, circling now? It's circling well, it's, right over. Yeah, it's trying to find that corner. Oh yeah! Nice. 
Okay, so here we have the wiring diagram for the Arduino flight computer, and we're using an Arduino Nano as the main flight computer, and an Arduino Mega uh, 2560 as the secondary flight computer to handle the SMS networking and GPS module. We have a RC receiver attached to the Arduino Nano. We also have three servos for the ailerons, rudder, and elevators. We have a three-phase brushless motor connected to the electronic speed controller, or ESC. There's a two capacitors on the 5 volt and 3.3 volt rails to filter the signal. We also have a uh, lithium battery connected here at the bottom, an accelerometer, and a barometric pressure sensor. Up on the Arduino Mega, we have an SMS network card and a GPS module connected via serial. The Arduino Mega and the Arduino Nano are connected with these four wires up here over serial as well. Okay, so here's the code flowchart for our Arduino Nano flight computer. We start out by initializing programs, setting up variables, the IMU, the servos, the gyroscope, GPS, and the serial communication. Um, if the IMU and the barometric pressure sensor initialize correctly, then we continue to the rest of the program. We set the I squared C clock speed to lower than the CPU uh, default so that we can keep the CPU free for other tasks. And then we start the IMU in sensor fusion mode. We are using a BNO080 uh, IMU sensor, which has advanced sensor fusion technology to keep uh, the current position and provide a more accurate current rotation angle. Uh, then we also set up the PID controller to control the roll and pitch of the plane. We give it the max and min values and set the mode. Then we update with the current CPU time, check to see if the RC receiver has any updates. And if it does, we decode it, check if the flight mode switch has changed. And if it has, we update the PID values in the flight mode. Next, if there's serial data available from the Arduino Mega, we read in the custom string header that relays the current GPS and target GPS coordinates. And then we save those values to memory. Then we check to see if the barometric pressure sensor has updated. And if it does, we also read that in and save that value. Then we check the IMU. If the IMU has the correct values, then we read in the quaternions over I squared C, decode that into degrees, and then save that to memory, along with updating the target angle to, of the GPS based on the current GPS location and the target location. Then we go and check the flight modes. If it's flight mode zero, we go into servo pass-through mode where it's just manual control and the servo signals are passed through the Arduino Nano to the uh, servos. If we're in mode two, GPS mode, then we set the target roll and pitch to track onto the target location with GPS. And if we're in flight mode one, we go into stabilization and we don't worry about the target heading or pitch, but just keep the plane level using PID values. Uh, then we update the servos and then set the motor based on the RC input. The motor is independent of any PID values to keep the plane from flying away. Okay, so here we have the code for the Arduino Mega. Up at the start, we initialize all the GPS and SMS variables and start the serial communication. Then we set up the SMS module by setting it a custom series of commands over serial to connect to the network and do a range test. Then we go into the main loop. If there's GPS data available, we save the current location in GPS and then print it to the over serial to the Arduino Nano flight computer using a custom protocol. And if there's not GPS data available, then we move on to reading the SMS data. If there is SMS data available, we parse that in. If we're reading a message that starts with an ampersand or an at sign, then the message is uh, the longitude. And if it starts with a semicolon, then it's latitude. Then we save those values to memory and then continue back to the main loop. All right, here we have some code snippets. Uh, up here at the top, uh, we set the PID values based on the testing we did on the fields. Um, and then in the bottom here, we take the IMU accelerometer values and convert them to pitch, roll, and yaw so that they could be read as degree values uh, for the angle that we set. And then here at the right, we uh, convert the messages, that, the text messages into latitude, longitude values. Uh, here in between, we have a, we have a check uh, to make sure it's uh, legible, it, like it's valid input. And here's how we set up the coordinates. We, uh, we text the coordinates to this number here. Uh, where we set the latitude and longitude values. Latitude is set by starting with an at symbol, and then you set the uh, the latitude coordinate to five degrees, or to five decimal points, and then end it with an and symbol. And then the longitude, you start with a semicolon, set it to five decimal points, and then uh, end with an exclamation mark. And then here's a few examples that we use. We use the M, Bob's Atomic Burgers, South Table, and Golf Course, with an example snippets of how to enter the latitude and longitude values.